What's up, everybody? How's it going? This is Fan Service, Rooster's official anime podcast. Mm -hmm. I am one of your hosts, Cole. I'm joined by these lovely people today. Hi. Issa. Miles. Tori. And, uh, yeah. How's it going? It's going good. I just, sitting here, hearing you say that this is the official Rooster's anime podcast does bring up a really good point. Be on the lookout. For all those unofficial, I do <laughs> run. I do run an uh, unofficial. Yeah, anime podcast. no, you gotta watch out. Like, don't get that unlicensed shit. It's gonna fall apart on you oh, within yeah, a yeah, month. Yeah. It's gonna um, have a fan translation. Yeah, yeah they're, they're gonna have trash opinions on anime. Yeah, yeah, like, make sure you're not connected. To, like, they always make oh. sure you're not connected to the network. Watch mm-hmm. mm-hmm. your legs. Did I unplug your computer? You See, for a second. shit like this happens all the time on an unofficial fan. Yes, service. this is on the official anime podcast. It just happens once, maybe twice. We'll see later in the video. Oh, yeah. Speaking of official, <laughs> we're an official uh, type of show, so we show up at conventions. <laughs> official conventions, live. One RTX. Hey. Oh. No. I think we are in the last window to get early bird tickets now. If you want to see us, yes. I like RTX because I get to go. Yes. Last year, <laughs> last year we started our fan service uh, panel coming out to Cruel Angels thesis. Oh yeah. That someone quickly pulled up on their phone and gave to me to play over Into the, the microphone. microphone. And honestly, that was like my favorite part of the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I was so uncomfortable that entire panel because what? Because <laughs> there were not enough chairs for everyone. That's true. So I had to stand behind the transparent podium. podium. Yeah. That the mic was not big enough. So I was like, "Hey, what do you guys think about anime?" <laughs> <laughs> and then at one point, I hid inside the podium because somebody said something very horny and it's, sexual. It, they, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh. Um, but yeah, no, I think by the time this episode comes out, you should still be able to get like general admission early bird stuff. There's a little bit general early yeah. bird, and you don't want to be a fool and pay full price. Don't be a late bird. Yeah. But then if you do miss it, get pay full then price. You're not a fool. You're just <laughs> doing Please. Then you're doing the best you can. It's the only convention I get to go to. That's yeah. a lie. I don't know why I said that. It's yeah. the only one that we have an official anime, anime official panel officially. The official that anime panel. Is that going to be... Is that going to be the title of our panel? Rooster Teeth's official, official anime, anime panel. <laughs> yes. yes. That's actually really good. That's yeah. really good. <laughs> I mean, we all know Ruby's not an anime, so get dunked on. <laughs> yeah. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> fucking casual shit out of my Casual. Convention. But yeah. that's enough time spent on that. Plugging <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Plugging ourselves. <laughs> if you want to come see us, actually, I will, I will be more shameless plug. Uh, if you want to see us at a convention, tell that convention. You want to see us? Oh yeah! Tell them and we can come. I, we real haven't good. we haven't really had an opportunity to say that, but that's the only way that we get to go to a convention. Yeah, let's if they yep. invite us. Yeah. So call up Thomas Convention. Call Thomas Mr. Convention. You, tell, you say Mr. Mr. Convention, and he'll be like, "Please, Mr. Convention's my father." Call be like, up. "Sorry, Tom. Can you get the fan service boys and girls into your good convention?" And he'll be like, "Who are you?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about the convention family at this point. I thought you were yeah. going to That's talk. what I started yeah, thinking okay, about. Yeah, exactly. It was like the, Mr. Convention's father. I was like, father. who's the daughter? She's just, well, she you, doesn't want to be a part of the business anymore. Oh like, there's she changed thing, her name from convention. There's one thing you got to know about the convention family, and that's that their family reunions are extremely well run. <laughs> that's it. They, got the, they got the signing wait, booths. Wait, wait. Uh, argument. The, argument. <laughs> Would you argue that is most it, conventions are not well run? Is it a too many cooks? Is it a too many cooks well, situation? No, I, yeah, I, I that think could it, be a, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I think it's an extraordinarily well run family reunion that does have a side oh, bo problem. Because it's never the organizer's <laughs> fault. It's always the fans' yeah, fault. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. We've spent enough time talking about the the the, the heir to the convention throne. Let's yes. talk about fucking <laughs> anime. It uh it is a good time right now because you get to watch the first <laughs> episodes <laughs> of all the anime that's coming out, and yeah. I I like. Before you said you thought it would be a bad season. I, I still think it's going to be a bad season. Oh. But I've well, also I, taken a I, mental... I don't know how to feel. I've also <laughs> taken a mental step back and go, you know what? Surprise me. Oh. <laughs> Surprise me. That's how, out, that's how I found out about ReZero. Like, yeah. I didn't know. That's how yeah. I found oh, out what? one of my favorite of all time, A Place Further Than the Universe. Mm, exactly. You know what? Surprise me. Surprise me, anime. <laughs> Cole's just like like a fucking Greco-Roman ass, like oh, lying yes. out in I'm a the... togo with olive leaves in his head. Just like, <laughs> I'm the next entertainment. <laughs> I am not you entertained. Come, like, okay, I can shoot the bow. Down. I can, I can cook bow. for you. I can, I can what? He's like, no. I hate, the, I hate this show. <laughs> Seven on my anime list. I'm sorry, young gladiator, but in this Seven. case, you cannot pick up girls in a dungeon. <laughs> Take him away. <laughs> I, like so I, watched, <laughs> I spent like the best this weekend watching a lot. Oh, I watched a lot as opposed to other weekends. Well, normally I I find out what I want to watch okay, and I okay, only okay. watch that, and that's still a lot. But this was like watching a lot of bad stuff. Oh, oh. and then some good stuff. Okay, okay. there's well, a couple well, good things. Was a standout. 
Um, stand up for bad was plunderer. That was stand up for bad that was, was plunderer. plunderer. Wait, wait, plunderer. wait. Plunderer. We did a little. Do we want to talk was, about what? Go ahead. No. You go. For, well, no. Well, I was gonna be like, wait, just from the title, what does what is plunderer about? Yeah, tell me what it's about. I told you about it last week. I told both of you about it last week. Yeah. <gasps> Do you so, guys not remember? It. It's a memory I, test and an anime test. I know, right? Damn they it. got us. They got us. <laughs> they got us by the balls here, man. <laughs> thank, um, you guys I, been, thank you, Isa. I Have you guys been reading? Think <laughs> that I didn't do the reading. Quick, quick. I you guys xeroxed my textbook, but then lost it. <laughs> Ten seconds. Give me it. It's about <laughs> pirates. That. Okay. Oh, Looking for gold. Shit. That was, uh, that's too good of an answer. I don't have enough the high seas. So that's y'all's joint answer. Pirates no. looking for gold. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Oh, he has a second okay. one. <laughs> the pirates. Will, <laughs> I don't know. So is the pirates Tori. looking for something? You're gonna find a way to prices right me about like an opinion. <laughs> so pirates looking for platinum. It's not about pirates looking for gold. It's pirates in one. Damn, he's like, that's right. It's like, what is it? So you got closer. Fuck uh, me. It is about a fantasy world where everyone. Uh, value and self worth and uh, God, whether they there. get to live is dictated by a number on their body. Yes! Oh, I did! Prices are you! So, like, <laughs> you get your ass back in the chair. So, like, there's. You don't get to escape this. <laughs> no, one, I'm going to collect my jet ski. <laughs> for example, one rather well endowed uh, female, uh, she has a number on her boob. If and number 69, I quit right now. No! It's 77. Okay. She already passed it. That was crazy. That was crazy. I, you almost lost me It is 77, anime. and is, that dictates the amount of times that a customer at her tavern has said her food is delicious. Oh. Every time they say it's delicious, it goes up. If they're like, oh, this is awful, it goes down. Uh, if it, oh, wait, this is the Yelp. No, no. no I'm thinking that's, of the, that's, ew, that's really good. That's a different one. That was a highlight. Okay, highlight right, of the right. season. But this was bad. Why was it bad? Why was it bad? Oh, it's just like very rapey and very... Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh what is that? I was very like, like slow, <laughs> slow pace, maybe annoying uh, character. No, also, an annoying like character. Hard an right? annoying, annoying character. The girl is like, starts off as a little girl and became a big girl. Um, her mom gets dragged under whenever she's a little girl. And By so, what? Where? A bunch of hands. <laughs> just a bunch where? of... Where? Like, to where? To where? It's like Full Metal Alchemist type. Like, they... It just... Into the ground. Oh, like, okay. Just um, like out of nowhere, or is there a reason? Yeah. Uh, because her number reached zero. If your oh, number reaches no! zero, you die. Your number gets zero! So the, the oh girl's walking God. around and she has it front and thigh. center in her thigh. thigh. And inner she has thigh. 447. Or 400, 447, yeah, something like that. Okay. And that's because, um, 441, sorry. That's because she has walked 440,000 440, kilometers. Looking for uh, the main character who is uh, constantly just trying to look up everyone's skirts and like constantly oh, wow. rubbing her thighs and legs and there is something not great about a story starting off with just so what's the story about? We're looking for the main character. But no, we're not so sure that's, that's the problem is that they they realize that they needed to get the exposition out. Okay, she's the one asking about exposition. She has a number of four hundred and forty-one on her leg, and she's like, "What does this mean?" Oh, oh, y'all, I have this watch, right? And like I've had it for a while, I got it as a gift, and I've noticed something weird. The number goes up a lot. Like there's a number underneath the time that just goes up, and then every day it resets. I just have no idea what this is. It's it's a Fitbit. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, the other thing is th this is this world. This is this world's form of currency. The oh, number? just like Justin Timberlake's number, clock. Yes, yes, work? because like essentially, if you have a higher number, you can command a person who is below you to it's in time. Uh, in you can command a person to. Um, do stuff. So it's like if you have a number, you like, all. hey, you? you have to. I mean, it does get like rapey because it's like, oh, you have to have sex with me because I have a higher number. Ooh. Oh, so it's like a, it's the anime version of that Black Mirror thing. Yes. Ah. And so like main character is a dude who his number is negative nine nine nine, but you ooh, you, you can have privilege. you can have Damn. objects. They call them uh, oh, what is it? They, they have these objects that <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Bounty Baron? No, they have these objects that essentially you can hold that are numbers. So oh. his number, he it has such a high mind. number object that it offsets his own negative thing, which what? they haven't revealed what his negative My is. My dad's credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't please. like that. It was real interesting until you said that character. Well, his is like, a, well, she has like one of them as well that she's supposed to find this legendary hero. I don't know. I don't want to spend more time on this. Cool. It's moving on, moving on. I'll, I'm going to continue watching it because it's like You're going to give it its time. Garbage. Time sure. Um, sure. Let's see what else we're gonna talk about. Y'all are gonna talk about Isaacin. Yeah. Here in a little bit. Um, oh, Haikyuu is back. 
Haikyuu is back. Oh, yeah, how was it? Did you watch Haikyuu? It was so good. This is Volleyball Team Boy, right? Yes, cool. so season four, but they also released some OVAs to um, kind of match up with some of your other favorite characters from the other season. Um, it's just a constant reminder of how good the, uh, that anime is. Oh, yeah. Um, you get so worked up over a, uh, a volleyball game. Mm. But it's so that's the best shit. I mean, that's it's what I like, loved about Yuri on Ice. I'm like, I care so fucking oh. much about this dude nailing this spin. Yeah. Like, I love Haikyuu. I love, my favorite is the, uh, what is this, the center back? The, oh. He's got like the, the one different oh, cut hair. the libero. Yeah, the libero, yeah. Oh. And the libero in volleyball is the term of the person who is basically like your last, um, Line of defense. Last line of defense. What a it's, fucking cool they, title for a cool position. Right? They're the typically the person who will bump the ball all the time. So most liberos are actually kind of short in comparison to everyone in the volleyball team who are very tall. And it's because they're always low to the ground. Um, okay. It's uh, Spoilers are in one of, uh, in the first like couple of episodes, one of the biggest things like, oh man, it was just so good this episode um, because <laughs> there's this, there's this point <laughs> where, um, Oh no, it was in the OVAs because it was between like some of the other teams and you, you wanted to see where they went for nationals or if they made it. Okay. And um, oh, it was so close. Right at the end, um, the libero for one of my favorite teams, Nekoma, oh, yeah. he like, it was this crazy rally and the ball was going around and then the libero, like the ball went too far off because someone did a one touch to the ball so it like went out but he has to touch the ball just to put it back in the game real So it's the second point. touch and you only have one more touch. Yeah. So he legit runs all the way from the court and like hurdles over the audience um, barrier because that's where the ball was heading and he makes it. And then everyone's so excited because the, the rookie who's like the tallest one on the team, he's like, he gets it and he spikes. He goes, oh my God, I did it. Yaku, like the libero, I did it. And then he stops mid-sentence because they see two teammates uh, helping Yaku he out because he twisted his ankle. Oh no! It this was, is too real. This is like was, flashbacks from middle school basketball. It like. was. I was just like, oh, oh you no! turn for uh, about forty-five seconds there. Mm-hmm. You turn this podcast into anime or into a, a sports podcast. I don't even give a heck. <laughs> I, I was there for it. Thank you. I, watch it. It's so watch good. it. Like go back and watch it. It's it's long. Like there's this is the fourth season and they're each thirteen episodes at least. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's it's really good. It's really worth it. And it's kind of like we we watched for here for a season of My Hero. You know, we watched the whole season of um, Demon Slayer. It's kind of the same vein of like the pacing's actually really good nice. because they really tell you how to care for each character. Is it at least is it at least one game per episode? Uh, no. There was somewhere it's one game per episode, and then as it gets uh, longer um, the, through the next seasons because of the more major games, yeah. I think it ends up there's just one the, season the where season. the third season's ten episodes. It's all one game. What? Yo, that's I, the coolest shit. Oh, no. no. I can't do that. No, but I love that. But you're into it the entire time. Like, uh, that's, to me, that's like, we have yeah. the utmost confidence in the story of this game. Yeah. That's cool. I love that no, they were able to make a sports anime bottle episode. Yeah. A bottle season. Yeah. But here's, a, in God, volleyball, a whole set is actually three games. The same. Mm, okay, so, okay. technically, it's three games in one okay. season. Okay, I'll Okay, yeah. uh, because I feel like it's just like, I've outsmarted you. No, I've outsmarted you. No, yeah. I've outsmarted you. No, I... Have outsmarted you. <laughs> it's just a back and forth. Hey, hey, come here. I've outsmarted you. <laughs> no! It's really good. So, um, yeah. Another one that I was very surprised by. Uh, Gia, uh, it's Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. Oh, I remember. Okay. I think we, um, we saw this. We, I, I saw, I I saw yeah. this poster and I went, oh, I kind of like that. I'm not good. I'm not good. I wanna, uh, you, excited not... For, you excited for Toilet Bound? <laughs> Immediately, I was like, "Is someone stuck to a toilet?" I oh was no! Like, Is it a story of a little? No, it's Dickie? a story about a girl wanting <laughs> to blue here. But... A girl wanting to. Um, it's a story about school legends or school mm-hmm. wonders. So it's like this: there's a ghost in the girls' bathroom that is like oh. the seventh wonder of the school. Uh. And so, uh, and it said that if you go in there and make a wish, the ghost will grant your wish. However, take something precious from you. Oh Uh-oh. my god! So like sea control. Yo, Japanese yes. like urban legends go hard. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we can, we, we might be able to show a still of it. I want to show y'all at least a little bit okay. of this. The, just the animation style is amazing. How do you turn this down? <laughs> Are you, is this your first time using it Mac? No, but it's different. So like. Oh, new, <laughs> newfangled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw a glimpse of something there. That, oh. Oh. Um, oh, I love this. I love the hard. Uh, hard hard edge outlines. Lines. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm a big, it's just super bold and immediately just. You your we gotta find eyes. some way to yeah, get this, get this in here. Uh, I think I first introduced to that in like uh, early 
I love fight. the character designs. Character designs are very good. And it was just like a very wholesome, fun. It's oh, kind of got some energy to it. Oh, oh, don't get this out of here. Uh, kind of got some fun energy to it. I nice. recommend it. It's one of those things that I don't know if it's like my favorite show this season. Sure. But... Mm -hmm. I was intrigued by it by the art alone. Yes. Ooh, looks like, ooh, interesting. So did you guys know that Square Enix publishes their own um, manga? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, monthly. Um, that's where uh, Full Metal Alchemist was actually published. Yeah, in we their, should. Mm -hmm. um, so it looks like that one is uh, Square Enix from their Square Enix. Enix. Did y'all, uh, I posted in the fan service Slack, did y'all see that video of uh, Japanese people reacting to English titles? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was great. Because you said Full Metal Alchemist, like, essentially they showed the, the English Romanji uh -huh. Full Metal Alchemist. And they're like, Alchemist and like there's always like they always ask pairs and like one of the pair will like kind of know English like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the other one's always like oh so impressed by the other one they're like oh you know English whoa and it was like That's oh this so is cool cute. to see the opposite really of that where I'm not so impressed anyone knows was, Japanese that was one of my favorite moments from going to Japan the first time was yeah. discussing with people at the table of like to me like oh uh, you know yeah I, I can't remember what the one oh a devil is a part timer yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah and like to them they were like Oh, that's a hilarious title. Like we call it this. And I was like, oh, that's neat. Mm. Light novel titles, you say? Interesting. Mm. Oh. Um, <laughs> now I'm just thinking about future stuff. Future stuff. Um, mm. But like, they were like Castle in the Sky, and every single person was like, oh, Lapida. Oh yeah. And it's like, oh, like that's not called Castle in the Sky at all over there. But Full Metal Alchemist was one of the ones that popped up, and it was like, uh, no, none of them got Full Metal Alchemist, and then it was uh, because the original Japanese name is Haga Ren, Haga Ren something. What does that mean? Uh, it's actually translate like the English title is actually no, no, translated no, no, no. into Japanese in Japanese words. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. It, it, it literally <laughs> means Full Metal down. Alchemist nice. or like oh, Metal Alchemist, but cool. I I just remember uh, the Japanese term for Full Metal Alchemist is Hagaren or it's like the uh, random name. Hagare no Renkin Jutsu Shi. Yeah, Renkin Jutsu Shi. So like, but none of them knew. They're like, oh no, like, huh. they're like, oh Alchemist, and then later they would. The word Jutsu is in. Jutsu is a, a term for like illusion, or yeah. that's what they use in Naruto, or like sexy Naruto. jutsu. Every time it's like, this is a jutsu. Bam. <laughs> Stairs. <Yes. laughs> Stairs. Spice. Spice. Hey, so Stairs. like, so here's my Mom. small thing in Full Metal, right? What? You can't make nothing out of you can't make something out of nothing, right? Yeah. So when you do stairs, boom. Where's that coming from? The Carbon. Ground. Essentially, I looked this up so, like, because I was trying to think what the best superpower is, and I think it's hands down magnetism. Like Magneto has the best superpower of any. Superpower. Because he doesn't sacrifice anything? Well, because he's on a planet where everything's metal. Sure. So he can control everything. He can. F he has flight. He has super strength. He has, like, essentially a bunch of other powers that could be considered, like, travel. But he can also make himself travel faster and, like, increase durability so he won't. And, uh, <laughs> I think the best I was trying one to think, is one with the least to... amount of weaknesses. And that one seems like he doesn't have that many weaknesses. Who? Magneto. Magneto. Yeah. I was, so then, I mean, even <laughs> to the point where he can do the iron in people's blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then I was like, well, what is like, I was trying to think, what is the actual scientific breakdown of Magneto's power? Is he controlling iron? Is he controlling what, <laughs> what metal? Uh, what, what metal is atoms, he? Yeah. Atoms, and so I was like, ooh, what about it? a carbon? I think it was like a carbomancer. Like somebody who can control carbon. And I looked oh, up, my God. I looked up carbomancers and Full Metal Alchemist popped up. Oh! Carbomancer. Oh. Sounds wild. No. Carbon. Yeah. <laughs> Good <That's> <laughs> oh god also shout out to my hero from this weekend oh yeah like, that was one of my favorite episodes period it remind i got i got demon slayer chapter 19 vibes from that episode it was oh. animated fucking beautifully that it was so great but then there's also just like story moments and deku's problem solving continues to just like make my jaw slam into the floor Which with the, the it? sun. it's him versus the big plague man bad man oh He's okay overhaul overhaul so we're, getting, we're getting pretty close God damn. Nice. God damn. So yeah, good. This is like. I've I been think wanting to this, see that animated. This is beautiful. This section of the arc is like the best. Cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The stuff with uh, Lemillion. Yep. I love him. The stuff with Night this Eye. Oh, and yes. the stuff with like. It's all. It's so yeah. Fucking good. It's so fucking good. So. Oh. Keep, keep it up. I want to watch it again. Um, <laughs> another one that kind of caught me out of left field is uh, the English title is In Slash Spectre. And um, it, was, it had a really in interesting first episode where it's just this guy and this girl talking on a bench. And she's bench. like, she's like, bench. she's like, oh, I've like, she's like, 
and it kind of reveals that she's liked this guy for like two years and has kind of been like waiting and they've been meeting up in a hospital and like he's had a girlfriend the entire time. Oh, this all sounds bad. Uh-oh. And she's like, oh, the girlfriend, you finally broken up. Now I can go confess to you and hopefully like, okay. and he, but she's like, well, how did you guys break up? And he was like, oh, well, one day I was, uh, we were in Kyoto for a trip and as we were walking along the river, a kappa popped out. What's a kappa? Kappa is it's like the green water demon. water demon that has the bowl of water on its head. I'm going to okay. pull up a picture of a kappa. Okay. That's a good excuse. I just know it as a, like a, a good a excuse. Ah, kappa. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you're nice. But there's cap over cap here. Over there. <laughs> Can't even. There's uh... a Twitch thing too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a Kappa. Twitch emote Kappa. So this is a uh, oh. Japanese folklore for Kappa. Oh, oh, it's a horrible turtle with uh, long hair it's... and the top of its head cut off to hold water. It's also the ferryman in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Cap- <laughs> Cap- <laughs> that turtle in the Kappa. Oh, I've had to fight that. Wow. Turtle. Okay, so uh, the Ninja Kappa Turtle, the Ninja Turtle sprung so, out. Ninja Turtle. So Donatello was so like, and, eh. and he recounts like, oh, um, I, uh, I, she, she's brave. She, my old, my ex, she's like super brave. Uh-huh. She never runs. She thinks like ghosts and stuff are stupid. She was like in my arms trembling and, um, like scared. And he was like, whoa, like, okay. And then like it, it cuts out of the flashback and he's like, yeah. And so then, um, uh, he like words it in a way where he's like, yeah, like then, uh, a certain someone ran away and like she broke up with me because she didn't think I was that kind of guy. And he ran and away. The little gr- and the little girl goes, or the girl that like likes him is like, uh, she's like in high school and he's like just in college. Mm-hmm. So she's like about to be, a, it's like a one year okay. separation. Okay. Okay. One, one, maybe two year. Okay. Um, and uh, he, she's like, well, here's the thing. You're not the one that ran away. The Kappa is. And he's like, how'd you know? And she has the ability to communicate with spirits and stuff. And it's like, oh, all the spirits are telling me that you have a scary aura around you. What? So he's like, so she was like, she saw the Kappa, the, the right. ex-girlfriend saw the Kappa run away. Yeah. Looked back at him. He had a scary aura. And she was like, I didn't think you were that kind of person that like <laughs> monsters would be afraid of. What? Oh, so she broke up with him. Yeah. That's. What okay? That was so what's the conflict of the series? Point of view, though. Um, it then reveals that the girl was like when she was a little girl, she got kidnapped by a bunch of spirits. As you do, got her eye ripped out and her leg chopped off, and whoa, she has now become, oh, like, she's now become a uh, goddess for the spirits, and so she's going around solving the spirits' problems, dealing with malicious spirits. And so I the way you were selling this, I thought it was gonna be like a rom com show. No, it's awesome. Also, also your delivery is inconsistent, right? We talk about the other anime, he starts off bam, rapey, right? You yeah. talk about this anime, it's kind of like a little love well, I wanna, type thing. Bam, no arm, no well, eye. Here's the thing. I'm like, what? Because I wanna explain this in a way that's like I don't think I don't want any of you guys to watch Plunderer. If you guys wanna watch Plunderer, cool. The people at home, if you wanna watch Plunderer, you understand what I'm saying. Sure, sure. This is like the kind of thing where I'm setting up to where, hey, I don't want to give away everything that happens oh, in the first okay. episode. Okay. I want to lead, okay, okay, okay. and if you ask questions, okay. I'll answer them. Okay. But I want to lead some breadcrumbs to lead you down. And then, like, if you get surprised by, because this, that's like the same reaction I had in the episode where it's mm. like, oh, it's kind of cute. Oh, it's sweet. That's a little scary. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's show her without. You're, you're looking remember, at your TV like I didn't think you were that kind of man. Remember Cole? Cole's whole thing is. Surprise me. Surprise oh, me. That's exactly. He was surprised. Oh, that's the callback. That's the callback. <laughs> <laughs> so. That was there. That's, um, let's see. Y'all talk about uh, Isaacin. I didn't see this week's Isaacin. Yeah. It's very good. What's you start. Um, Hands off. Isaacin. It's manga. Hands and making the anime. Oh, right. He was there. Okay. You, you didn't like it. You wanted that's more sticks. What, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, made the anime. Uh, got you. I got you. I got you. It was pretty. Interesting. Um, uh, this time, uh, this time, episode uh they finally get they make the club mm-hmm. they make the club they get their own club room um it is quickly noticed uh or everyone quickly notices that they are out of funds they have mm-hmm. no money um and the club room's a fucking mess so uh it's not necessarily problem solving that although it's more so it's it's great it's um Two people making dreams out of like clouds, and one person going, "Guys, please, for the love of God, <laughs> focus." Yeah. Uh, focus. focus. Um, uh, what is it? It was, it was funny. Uh, I was watching it, and I turned to the person I was watching. I was like, uh, "This is me working with um, 
this is me working with Austin Hardwick and Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are laughing because they know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Shout out to Austin and Dustin, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Wait, who are you? Oh, I was the person going. Guys, focus. Guys, yeah. focus. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> so I, I didn't enjoy it as much as the first episode, and it's mainly just because of. Yet, yeah, like I, I thought the first episode was a charming. It felt like a great, char- charming short story. I didn't feel like the second episode really added much until the last moment where the oh, the episode starts with um, one of the girls falling and injuring her and injuring herself while they were goofing around in the clubhouse, um, and a teacher tells them like, "Hey, but for real, like, don't don't post that video because it could lead to some legal stuff." And then at the end of the episode, one of the girls is like, "Hey guys, I just got transferred like three hundred bucks. What's going on?" And then the others are watching TV, and on the news is the video of her following. Oh, and that's the end of the episode. And I was like, oh, "Okay." But prior to that, it it reminded me a lot of Carol and Tuesday, which was, we have this problem and we need specifically this. There is a great moment where it shows off a tall girl's producer skills to just, like, wrangle people. And, like, she's great. Like, that was probably my favorite scene in the whole episode was her just, like, intimidating people into getting Mm -hmm. what they need. But then they get what they need. And then on top of that, they get, like, exactly what they need and have, like, oh, it's a full-on old animation lightbox desk. And the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, multi multiplane camera, which I did, I did appreciate. I was like, oh, cool. We're like teaching people about multiplane cameras because I think those are fascinating. Yeah. Um, but that was just like the nerd side of me. But the rest I was like, it's not, it's okay. It's, it's just more stuff that like I'm kind of already familiar with. And they had another thing where like, let's, ex- let's, let's imagine what this place would be like in the windmill. Yeah. And mm. I was like, okay. It just kind of felt like another version of episode one to me I, and so i think the way to, uh, well hearing is you're saying is low stakes very much i think episode two was still kind of very low stakes for like 90 percent of it i don't think they established the stake at the end though exactly. they did and so mm, i'm like, like hopefully a, a good brazilian episode, barbecue we'll maybe uh, establish the steak <laughs> we'll maybe brazilian. capitalize on that um but again <laughs> but then this is just where steaks, like meat yeah but you have a Brazilian? That's Brazilian? like where they come out of those swords. You know, I <laughs> every time I never mind. Carry on. When I think about Brazilian, I, I think of your the, your care. Your hair care. My hair care? Oh, like getting waxed? Yeah. Oh, Brazilian wax. Got Brazilian. It. I thought you were calling me out. I don't get Brazilian waxes. For anyone who's interested. But... <laughs> hey, okay, hey, come um, on. <laughs> what about you, Tori? <laughs> Um, um, but uh, no, and again, so I, that I just want to f- make sure it's clear that like I'm not criticizing the show. I think the show is doing an extraordinary job of what it seems to have set out to do. Um, I am just personally like, I was happy with the first episode. I'm hoping something else will keep me wanting to come back. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll add some spice. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It's, it's beautiful. It's got this. It's a boring show. So there you go, hot spicy like, take. I can't. I so. Well, we're talking about some hot spiciness. So I tried to. Wa- I, you guys surprised. I did try to watch the second episode. Oh, so oh. And I fell asleep. Yeah. Uh, so. I, I, but no, you that also, was a double you, confirmation I, that this show also, is not for me. You are also in the zone right now where you need action. Yeah. You need the, steaks. No, okay. You need. So steaks. I watch. I thought I I watched Seven Scissors. Oh yeah, yes, on, on Netflix. On Netflix, and uh, um, it's goofy. But it's it's action. It's super well animated. But unfortunately, and I'm gonna bring up Chris from our last podcast. Sound design is horrible. Oh, like it, it just has that basic I, like someone picking sounds from a library. Like metal hits the ground. I'm a little ticked off because I was watching something and I started thinking about audio. Ah. I was like, "Fuck off, dude! Damn you, Chris! Let me enjoy expertise. my anime." No, but like it's it has a because on that podcast I was like a lot of the shows on Netflix have like. We did the sound design on this later and did not put much thought into it. Like it's scissors, but it sounds like a, a chainsaw. Oh. Kind of interesting look to it. But yeah, it's super cool. It's um, okay. it's super adult. Um, and real rundown. He's a so it's, it's a world of assassins, and they're trying to get. He's like, you need. We need to get you to the number one assassin, right? He's number like seventeen thousand or something or whatever. Out of um, he has like a little bird companion with sunglasses. Gives him the power to change it to whatever he wants, yeah. and then out. And the kid also has telekinesis powers with these scissors. Oh, cool. And then the bird guy gives him indestructible scissors. And his first mission is to sneak into a wedding and cut this lady's hair off undetected, because that's what assassins do. Oh. Um. And the way he gets into the wedding is turning himself into the roast pig on the table. Oh. So and stabs his butt with some chopsticks. It's very funny. It's very comedic. It's really well animated. Oh. Um, and it's like super adult too. Interesting. Like, it's a Chinese anime. Oh, 
Oh, oh cool. Uh, cool. Looks... Second mission is him. Uh, uh, a cat hires him to take down the alpha dog. But bark, bark. the reason why she's mad is because the alpha dog broke up with him. Oh. <gasps> broke up with her. But he broke up with her because cats and dogs are two different species. Romeo and Juliet. So he couldn't have any Star kids because of this. The, the oh, are they actually dog and cat? Yeah, they're, oh. no, they're actually a dog and a cat. And oh, then oh, assassin thought... number thirty-seven shows up and is like, "I'm here to kill this dog." And the other, the other guy, the main guy character, he didn't kill the dog because he's like, "Oh, they're in love. This Don't is great. Kill dogs. Great." Um, so he, then he shows up, a bunch of cats, and her get into a fight. <gasps> cat fight. Cat versus like a human assassin, like a oh. bunch of cats. That sounds. Oh, they're weird. actually like biped or like yes. quadrupedal. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought. They... <laughs> I, weirdly, I was with you from square I one. Yes, yeah. no, yeah. it, like, it is. It is as I, you think it is. I thought it was like a furry. And the cat thing got sunglasses like... as well because they're low-wear sunglasses, and then yeah. it's, it's really fun. Cool. I'm, I'm sticking with. That's that. actually pretty neat. So. <laughs> weekend for anime. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, two other ones hit up real quick before we hop out. Um, it doesn't have like a lot of. Positive reviews. I didn't think it was this bad. Uh, Infinite Dendrogram on Funimation, I think, Infinite. is the best anime adaptation of an RPG of an MMO that I would want to play. Huh. Whoa. Okay. 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 Like it. It does a thing where it does something interesting that I think um, a lot of MMO isekai type things don't really do, where the the characters, if you die in the game, you are locked out of the game for 24 hours. Mm. And in the game time, that's 72 hours. Okay. NPCs can die permanently. Okay. And NPCs behave like humans. Huh. So like, the main character, first time, first time he's there, he gets bumped into in the town square, and some girl's like, can you help me find my sister? I can't find my sister. But she runs off. And like all of a sudden, bloop, quest added. Mm. Find this girl's sister. Mm. The thing is, if he doesn't help that girl's sister then and there, that girl's sister could die. Oh, this is some fucking... Uh, 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 that's kind of cool. Yeah. What was, no, no. What was the zombie game? In the, Dead Rising. Dead, Dead Rising, Rising yes. shit. That's a game. It gives you anxiety. <laughs> also, it was as good as I wanted it to be. Ishizoku reviewers. Oh, Yelp Brothel. for brothels. Yelp for brothels. Four more years. Give me seven more seasons of this. This was it, example of a anime that's better than the manga. Oh. oh. Okay. The manga okay. is just like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we went here and did this? They're adding a little bit of a story. Give me one sentence to try and hook me into it. Anime Monster Girl Brothel. No, 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 no. For like specifically for the first episode. Was there a moment in there that you were just like, oh, fuck yeah, this is this is that this is that good shit. <laughs> kind of like kind of like uh, when you were talking about how one of the people was like, I want that fifty-seven year old woman. Hell yeah, sex. I mean, this is that episode. This is that episode where. Uh, I'm in there. What? You're there. I'm in there. You're in there. <laughs> I, I couldn't rem- I couldn't remember what it was from the last time, but like I I I am interested uh, in the, in the in the. No, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, we're really opening up about our sexual preferences. And the anime. Um, I'm interested in the anime. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna see it. Got some and cougars. <laughs> because like, e- like right now I'm all about like I need some steak whatever. But if it's goofy, like the one I was watching. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can get into it. Like if it's mm-hmm. goofy or it's whatever. It's really goofy. It's really, really stupid nice. and fun. It was like, because I've watched some like intense stuff and I was like, I want to watch this. Okay, this is, mm. it It knows exactly what it's trying to okay. be. Okay. It's, not, it's not trying to like, okay, be like our Kind of like yeah. how the Fast and the Furious movies are at this point. Like, we yes. know who we are. Oh. They well, because I thought it was just going to be like a checklist of like, you're turn oh, you're back on family. What's this about over here? <laughs> yeah. Hey, so. just crack a Corona and watch Yelp for Brothels. Oh, oh Yelp, 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 Yelp for Brothels. It is. Family. If you watch the intro, it knows exactly how horny it's going to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we'll pull, I'll show you guys. Is it the as intro. horny as the SYD intro? <laughs> 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 All right, great. So, great. Um, that's all the time we have for this week. Yeah. Um, right. Does we have any housekeeping business we got to do? Oh, uh, not um, really. Check out the RTX tickets if you want to come see us. We'll have that panel official, official, official. Um, share this with your friends. Share this with your enemies. Yeah. Share this with your family. Please, with please, your yes. Enemies. Spread the word. Uh, and yeah, we're continuing to work on some other like cool segment ideas and stuff uh, in yeah. the future. Uh, but we always love hearing what you guys are thinking about the show. Stuff that you miss. Stuff that you want. Stuff that you're liking. Let Stuff us know that you need. Yeah, no, it's like, but seriously though, I feel like a lot of times there isn't enough positive uh, 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 commentary on like, not to say there's not positive comments, but like, hey, I really like that like, y'all just talk about what you're watching. Well, y'all like, are... I like this sec- segment. Like, yeah. let us know stuff that you are enjoying us, hearing us talk about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell me your favorite Haikyuu character. And, and tell Torian if you're into 57-year-old women. Ooh. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>